My name is Julio Hasso. I am part of the SI Tutoring Drafting Program from the Office of Student Success. Today I will be showing you how to make a plane, a datum plane, on the Creo Parametrics program that we normally use in our program, the drafting program. First you want to select your working directory, which your item will be placed in when you save. So normally your USB or the desktop. After you've done so, create a new project. You can name it whatever you want or whatever part you're working on. Once it pops up, you will have three different planes your X, Y, and Z datum planes. Once you pick the datum plane you will be working off of, if you need to create a new one, this is how you will do it. Click Plane. The arrow that pops up designates which side of the plane you'll be looking at. By clicking on it, it changes the reference. In the spot where it says translation, type in how far off you want it to offset. Remember that the arrow designates which side you'll be looking at the new plane. By offsetting it the other way, you'll need to type in negative. And there you have your new plane to work off of. To create a plane off of an item or at a specific angle, you'll already have to have that established. <clears throat> when you create a new plane, you are not given the option to angle or rotate the new datum plane in any way whatsoever. You do get to start off on the X, Y, and Z, which is usually more than enough. But sometimes, when you need to get a specific angle set for a datum plane, you can start off on your item as such. Select the plane in which you need, such as any surface of this item. The surfaces of the item will work just the same as a plane. Here in the translation box, if we put in negative again, here we'll have a new plane offset by 30 from this new plane we created. Here we have a new plane offset from the item's surface by 30. To get a specific angle or region after you've created the item, 
creating a new plane and offsetting it in a negative or positive way will allow you to be able to extrude, revolve, sweep, and or rib inside of an object. Or in some cases, extending from the object. Creating new pl datum planes off of items is very useful. Today I showed you how to make a new datum plane in the Creo Parametrics program. My name is Julio Hasso, Supplemental Instructor from the Office of Student Success for the drafting program.